All right, this morning I got some cooking to do. I just cooked that big batch of corn, deer corn, late yesterday. And I had to let it cool overnight, but there you go. So it's ready, I can take it out there to I'll get it in this bucket over here and get it in there. And the other thing I'd cook is we got a over, over abundance of uh, of eggs again. So uh, those, I'm cooking all those for the uh, chickens. And we tried them with the ducks, but the ducks just don't, ain't too much into them eggs. But chickens tear them out the frame. So, uh, let me get that corn poured out into their bucket, get it moved, and then uh, let me uh, get these eggs cooked. I can get them out to the, to the chickens. And uh, one other thing I was going to talk to you about, which this should be a really quick video, but I did want to make it a point, was uh, acorns. That's because there's a lot of people that are feeding acorns that are uh, chickens. But, uh, might not be such a smart idea. I'll get into that uh, here in a little bit. Let me get this stuff poured out and cook these eggs up and get them chickens and then we'll go around front where I've got a boatload of acorns falling in the yard. I'll talk to you real quick. good round of corn to go. Well, chickens, that should last us a good while. Uh, now it's a matter of just getting those older eggs cooked up and get them out there when I'm eating. Hey man, waste not, want not. That's what my mama saying anyway. I always seem to work for her. Bound to work for me, I guess. For the chickens. And the uh, eggshells I'm going to go ahead and put in the garden. So I'll put those in the garden. So, like I said, waste not, want not. So, uh, we'll put some protein back into the chickens and give them something to, to eat extra. So, uh, Let's get to cooking. Well, first thing I do, I gotta bury these eggshells in the garden. those eggs done. So now, now it's just a matter of letting them cool down before I take them out to the chickens. 
but uh, what I thought I'd say was uh, you know some there's a lot of people feed eggs to their chickens and some will actually feed them to them raw but uh, you know the one thing that, that concerns me is that if one of them gets sick with you know some bacterial or viral infection and I feed them them raw eggs it's just going to spread throughout the flock so and you may say you know what uh, my chickens are healthy they probably are what happens if you know birds fly over drop some droppings into the chicken run they ended up ingesting that stuff and they get sick from you know birds flying over so you know it might not happen but mm -mm. I'm just, uh, I'd rather cook the eggs and make sure that I kill any bacteria bacteria or virus or fungal or whatever's in those, in those eggs or could get in those eggs. So that's just my opinion. But if you got any other thoughts about it, just put it in the comments below. One other thing that's coming down today is our hummingbird feeders. Um, it's that time of year, so I might as well go ahead and get them down, get them cleaned up, and get them put up for the, uh, for the winter. Okay, I got them again next year. Because the water that I put in there this last go around, it's not going nearly as fast as the other did. So I can tell they kind of move it on. So, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these things down and cleaned up. But I'm leaving her swing up. <laughs> Got the three hummingbird feeders out up, and truthfully, I seriously thought about getting uh, getting some more hummingbird feeders because these hummingbirds are incredible to watch. They're just man, how they continue to do that. They're just so fast. But yeah, I considered getting some more. Next year I might. I don't know, but they they're definitely a bird to watch. thing I was to talk about <coughs> excuse me, real quick today and this is the time of year to say it and simply because I hear them hitting my house like somebody shooting a machine gun at it um, is acorns and you can see they're all over the place in, in the yard now they're falling like crazy and this is it little acorns or without their little hat look like this but some people tend to try to supplement their feed with giving the chickens acorns. And if you want to, by all means, go ahead and do that. But let me just say a few things. Uh, as far as the acorns go, they have tannins in it, uh, which is a phenol. And what the tannins tend to do is they inhibit the uptake of protein, calcium, magnesium, zinc, things like that. So, um, they have poor nutritional value uh, when they have the tannins in them. And I'll talk about it in one second. But um, before I'd even consider giving those things to my chickens, because what they call, cause is uh, malnutrition, because they inhibit the uptake of all that stuff. It can give diarrhea, it can cause liver damage. Uh, and it's proven to cause liver cancer. So, um, that being said, if you wanted to give acorns to chickens, what you'd end up having to do is let them thing leach for a long period of time. And what I mean by leach is you gotta put them in water or boil them, and you keep putting them back in that water and taking them out of that water and dumping the water over and over again until that water runs clear, because it'll turn dark because of those tannins at best. So, I mean, you're talking having to leach that thing for hours on end uh, in 
boiling it for hours on end and dumping the water, filling it back up, putting the acorns back in, boiling it again, dumping the water, and continue to do that for a numerous, numerous number of times to try to get some of those tannins out. <clears throat> now, the other thing that can be said about the tannins is tannins can cause death in chickens, period. That's, there's no question about it, it can. Um, now, mind you, I've got a boatload of acorns. They're all over the yard, up, you know, towards the front of the property, and <clears throat> they're just in about a millions. Yeah, that's an exaggeration. Thousands. Um, and I could have a boatload to supplement my feed as far as my chickens go. But with everything that's kind of uh, scientifically proven about the tannins, and the polyphenols, um, I would just prefer not to do it. So I'd love to just rake those acorns up and just start chunking them by the bucketfuls into my chickens, because that definitely that would be a feed supplement if it were good for them. Now mind you, if you could possibly get rid of the tan, tannins, period, then there are, some, there are some good minerals and vitamins in acorns, period. There's no doubt about it. There are. But the problem is you got to get rid of the tannins. Um, so my warning to you is I wouldn't just start chunking buckets of raw acorns over in my chicken run and let my chickens supplement the feed. It's not a good idea. But that's completely up to you. One thing I just noticed in the garden, I was going to show you again, was this is over here by the by where I get my greens planted now, but look at this. Another tomato plant. Look at that. Smells like a good tomato plant, plant too. I mean, it smells good. Where in the world are all of these tomato plants coming from? It's utterly ridiculous. I'm just throwing these tomato plants over here in the, in the potato patch. There you go again. Check this out. There's another one. 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 <laughs> you know what? If it was uh, tomato plant time of uh, season, I couldn't find one if I tried. Because they ain't going to produce anything this time of year. But And I seriously thought about just potting those jokers and sticking them in the house the next year. But nah, I ain't going to do it. I should, <laughs> but I ain't going to do it. The only thing about letting the garden die down this time of year is you feel like you should be out here doing something. Uh, as far as the garden goes, which I've still got a lot to do to get it ready, but... Like where all the weeds and stuff are at, I gotta de-weed that. And see, like there's beets coming up, but it's still in here amongst, which didn't do off a dag on this year, but um, there's still some stuff I can cut out of here uh, before I start just breaking up the, the weeds and probably get the majority of that kind of stuff to the rabbits. But anyway, <laughs> tomato plants. God, wait, dog. <laughs>
gonna be it for the day. <laughs> no, I saw it, but what's going on? Uh, anyway, I didn't want to get that in about the acorn since it's time of year that stuff starts falling. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, God bless all of you. I appreciate you watching. If you would, please like and subscribe. And uh, hope I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. <laughs>